Right. We'll get into it. Because I've... I did a lot of... As you can see, as you can see, there's a lot of M's, a lot of modified code here. And the reason is it's cause it was it was getting a bit spaghettified. So what I've done is I've refract refactored some of it. So most of the changes are in Quasi, the update Quasi uh, program. And what I've done is I've scoped most of the most of the routines. So we've got quasi update. So that's the wrapper for the whole lot. Yeah. And then inside there I've scoped where is it? Gravity, the gravity pull. So that's now scoped. That's self-contained. Uh, the jump cycle's not, but even I I I started it but then I didn't complete it and I have done all so quasi dazed quasi stood still going right going left going up and down and get down are now separate subroutines so just to give you an idea quasi dazed just testing the state if if it's plus that means that bit 7 is not set then we set the animation and set him up as dazed but once bit 7 is set that means he's dead right we don't need to set the animation up again so it doesn't need to because a lot when I was looking at it we were setting the animation up many 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 times and we don't need to we just need to set it up once and then let it run so I've done that. I've also done it on stood still. So we've got some tests that test whether he stood still. And then we set up the animation. If he's already looking, we don't set it up again. You know? So, you know, we jump to already set. Yeah? If he's already set, we don't need to set it again. And I've done that for going right, going left, going up and going down. So the animation was getting set all the time and so I've been re uh, refactoring so the the actual working out of the anim of where he's going is here right so we test whether he's dead if he's okay then is he jumping no he's not right if he's not jumping then we do the gravity pull then we then test for his horizontal direction so it can only go in one direction at any one time. It can either go horizontally that way, horizontally that way. It can't do, you know, the jumping thing. We're not going to allow it to do that. Hey, Macron. So we test there, and if it's not any of them, then we go to process vertical. So as you can see, the actual testing of where he's going is a lot shorter. We're not doing all the... And basically, we just jump to the bits that we need. So going vertical is just down here. This is going to get moved because we don't use it in here. We use it for Jill. And the problem is Jill, Jill's animation is going to get changed anyway because she's going to be using the animation engine. And so the vertical is exactly the same as the horizontal. First, we test whether he's falling. If he's falling, we're just going to jump out. You know, We don't want to make it go left or right. That's what I've done. Now you guys may think differently that if he if you fall, he falls in the direction he was going. Yeah? I don't know. This is for us to discuss. But I've scoped everything. Everything is now scoped. So gravity pulls now scoped and it just basically done done some basic refactoring just because I wanted to <laughs> make it easier to read because it was getting a little bit spaghettified. So we've added some new uh, constants. So we've got these two new constants here and that's to do with the um, the sprite XY, XY um, start because Microman's been trying to figure out how to make it lap, how to make it snap to the top of the block and he come up with some ingenious solutions, but 
You've always got to keep it simple. Keep it simple. And I'll show you what I mean by what I've done. So, so we've got some more um, constants, which I think it's just those two. Uh, did I have any more? I can't remember. Let's have a look. What have I changed? Oh yeah, we've got a we've got a direction falling flag. Uh, we've got those two in. That's it. And controls. I modified controls. I can't remember. Oh yeah. I was debating whether to put the falling test in the controls, but as it turns out, I took it out because it was in the wrong place. So we've took that out. Uh, what else did I do? What else is modified? Oh, logic. Hey, hey, created. So, yeah, here we go. Right, and also I've done some optimization. <laughs> I've done, I've done some psych cycle optimizations. Um, because when the program was running, right, the animation of the character, so the bell, the spikes, the torches, the fire. Um, they all lined up like the planets, and when I, when they all lined up, the amount of time it took to process it just blew the <laughs> blew blew the scroller, and so it was juddering, and it was doing it every I think it was every one and a half seconds, all all the animation lined up, so we had to do all the animation in one cycle, and it just blew it. So what I've done is. I've got a load of scribbles on this pad <laughs> where I was trying to work out what frame to do what animation. So the bell animation, because the bell animation is every 50, 56 cycles. The um, the, spi the spikes were every 28 cycles. So 28, 28 cycles twice is 56. So there we go. We've got just two of them clashing and then we got the fire and and all that doing every eight cycles which eventually meant they all lined up and <laughs> blew up so what i did was i worked out that where's the animation so i worked out here we go before it was doing frame five frame six and frame seven, and my light is packing in. Give up. There we go. But just by changing the frames that it was being doing, so at the moment it was it, before it was doing every fifth frame it was doing the fire one array, sixth frame the fire two array, and the seventh frame the torch. So that's three three frames out of eight were doing animation. Yeah. So what I did was I split them. So now it's on frame four, frame six, and frame eight. So it spread them apart. So I had frames in between that I could insert the bell and the spike. And the bell and the spike are still 56, 56 and 28. What I have done though is I have, let me just find it. Here we go. I have, I've gone and said that the, I've offset, I've offset the way they do it. So 50, 56 and 28 times 2 is 56. If they happen at the same time, it was bad news. Now the biggest one was 56. So I just, what we did, what I did was, I would, I, instead of starting it at zero, which I did, everything started at zero. The bell animation now starts at frame seven. Yeah. So it does 56 from there. The spike animation starts three halfway, right? So ASL, that's times in two. So it, it doubles the start. So it starts on frame 14. Never the, never the, the, the two animations will ever, ever happen at the same time. I worked it out. I, I, I was... I was mad enough to work it out on Excel <laughs> to to, um, to win it, but all that happens now is every now and then the bell frame lands on the torch frame, so it ends up doing the bell and the torch, 
and the spike frame lands on either the fire one or the fire two frame. So the, that's the maximum it will ever do. So when we run it, when we run it, it, it is uh, b -b 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 -b. the white band, the white band on the screen. So if I run it, so the white band on the screen, this bit here, that used to go all the way down here when everything happened at the same time. Now it doesn't look. It barely, it just reaches about there, which I can handle because that is where either the bell or the spike is um, firing at the same time as the fire or the torch. Yeah? And it only happens like, you know, what's that? Every second when it gets to that. So it means now we don't have the skipped frame, All right? So, and what else, what else that I've done? Oh, collisions, right. Collisions, I, I made this into a constant because I was gonna use it elsewhere. And I've created a, where is it? No, oh, it may not be in collisions, where is it? Oh yeah, here. I created a new function in the sprite array, uh, the sprite library called get screen Y and set screen Y. And what that does, it allows you to specify the screen X and Y of the sprite. And then that recalculates it into the sprites at true X and Y. So you don't have to do all this anding and stuff like that. We, we are working truly with the, the screen X and Y. So, when you end it with seven, you're getting the row. You're getting the screen row. Yeah. And so I've added that to allow us to do, <laughs> to, to make it snap to a row. So that was, that's in a nutshell what I've been messing around with. So that's why there's an awful lot of files been modified. I mean, oh yeah, that's, that's something else. So sprites, collisions. Yeah, I made them. Animation is the sprites storage. We have got an extra, we've got an extra flag called quasi falling. So we test, we set whether quasi is falling or not. Yeah, and I've talked about that. That's where most of the code changes are. As you can see, with my refactoring, a lot has changed. So when you get the when you get the code tonight, you'll see that a lot has changed. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent um, I spent about ooh, three, four hours. I think it was Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Cause I was getting a bit fed up with it. So now the very man that's been talking in chat has been playing with our map and character set. And he's come up with this level. So, of course I'm going to use it because it's got my name in there. Look, there it is. But, there is a couple of issues. And this is what we need to discuss or, you know, knock about and stuff like that. That, <laughs> Quasi can't jump off of some of this stuff. <laughs> so, what I did was I loaded it into this. So now we've got two maps. So we've got the original map here, and then we've got Microman's map at the bottom here. So I've merged the two together, so we can now switch between the two maps and as before we've got a routine up here to do it where is it here it is so we are set to the new microman switch uh, screen and away we go so here we go here's his um 
his map. Now, <laughs> we need to do something about this because he dies, literally. He dies. As soon as you clip there. So we need to um, we need to, we need to look at the collisions. Whoops. We need to look at the collisions a little bit more to try and make or even change the way the spike animation works. Because um, you do get stuck. So we can jump onto the rope. So here we go. Jump on the rope. Jump across there. Across there. Across there. Now this is this is where you can't move left and right. Now before you could move left and right when you were falling. And I don't know I don't know if it's a good thing or not, not being allowed to move left and right. Um, me me personally, me personally, I think he should fall in the direction he was running. So instead of just falling up like he's like as a rock, falls straight off and down. That if he's running that way, he carries on falling in that direction. But we pull him down, yeah? So that's something that we need to look at. But it does it, it works. But this here, this is what this is what I mean, right? I'm I'm gonna attempt to jump on it, right? Here we go. I'm gonna jump over, gonna jump, and uh, <laughs> I never make it. Absolutely never ever never make it. <laughs> and that and I think that's where we need to act where he's where when he's running and jumping, we need to make him um, I think we need to make him fall in the direction of his, his his travel. So like if you run off a building, you don't fall straight down. You 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 sort of die in an arc. <laughs> so and and that's another thing as well. We've got the pillars going right to their bottom. We can't we, we can't have that. We need to we need to have some sort of base at the bottom. Because the or quasi just fall straight through and that's that's not good and we can't you know we don't want to put that these bottom pillars are uh, blocks or you'll just stop because if you have you added NVM NVM, mate. You'll have to let me know. So, I think we just need to change a little bit of this. But, I still think the gravity, when he falls off, right, when he falls, so, um, where's gravity, gravity, gravity? Here we go. See, I've got him stopping, I think. Here. So he's set the falling. So he doesn't, he doesn't actually. Okay, mate. Okay. Um, when he's falling, I think I stop him going left and right. Let's have a look. Look up the top. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Is he falling? Yes, he is. And we return to the sender. So we do not apply any any logic or any X. And what I'm thinking is we should we should do this. should do that I think he should still be allowed to go in 
the direction he needs to go. Oh! <laughs> when he jumps too high and goes off screen. Oh dear. Yeah. We need to sort that out as well. Okay, so it's not this one, is it? There you go. That's where he put, it has a fit. And I think that's because he's falling and he's on the same. He's falling and he's on the same frame. We need to. when, Yeah, when the frame moves. Right, where was we doing? Where was we doing? Oh, yes, yeah, the next one, isn't it? This one. Right, here we go. So hopefully he will f jump over. There we go. But there's no, there's no way back. <laughs> there's no way back. He just dies. Look, there's no way back. There is no... He's, str he's stranded there. So... Uh, oh. Just a little bit too far, I think, that one. Oh, stop it. Stop it! No, it's just a little bit too far, that one. But, we're getting there. We're getting there. But, as you can see, there are issues. So, we've got the issue. Let me, um, let me reset it. So this is the homework for you guys if you want to try it. If you want to tackle it. Right, the homework is figure out how to make Quasi jump while he's in the scroll mode, yeah? Because while he's scrolling, look, you get that jerkiness. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I think I know what it is, but I want you guys to try and figure out what it is. Yeah? <laughs> there is no way... Right, there is no way... There is no way that he's going to jump. Well, let's try. Okay, let's get to the top. Right, jump! Wrong way. No, no! Get back up there. Right. Jump. Go on. Oof. <laughs> God dear. Ah. Ah. <laughs> right. But this is the sort of thing that we need. You know, I mean, I was thinking that we could have this. We could try and have this as a crumbling block or something like that. But we need to, if we're going to do that sort of thing, we need to, um, we need to cache the screen. Because we don't want to alter the map. Because next time you go into the map, if the, if the ground's already collapsed, it's going to make it really difficult. So we, we may have to cache the screen. But it's, we're getting there. We're getting there. I thought it was, I've had great fun trying to do it, but <laughs> and we also we've got the bug back of our that you can jump in midair, which is annoying me. That's back. So you could just do that all the way. Ah, jump, jump, quasi jump, jump. But these spikes. So these spikes down here, right, see if I can, no, can't land on it. We may, oh, that, that shimmer is going to really annoy me now. It's like it's doing it twice. Yeah, it's the cost of the falling. That is, that is the falling. Is 
that is the falling. Right, jump. Jump. No. Right. <laughs> He's gone off screen. It's the end of the falling. Right, the jump that right, the jump cycle's finished, yeah? So something is going wrong. The jump cycle's finished. So when it's yeah, that's the jump. That's the blue region. What's the blue region? All oh, right, so it's not. It's the um, the controls and jump. So the blue region is going mental. All oh, right. Oh, I see what's going on. see what's going on we'll get this jump sorted out but we're using it to our benefit at the moment oh got a bit out of sync there right I am looking I'm looking at this purple line if that purple line goes right what's bluey spare that's down here I think it's the purple. Hang on. Let's have a look. Yeah, the purple's going way off. Way off. Right, hang on. Here we go. Jump. Yeah. Right, so it's the purple that's the culprit, which is update quasi. <laughs> and I think, I think it's because of, maybe if I put that back in, let me put that back in. So he falls straight down. Whoops. Ooh. I've even put comments in. I've even been putting comments in. Right, so he's on the rope. Yeah. Right. It's because is the jumps finished see it's not doing it now right he's still jumping but he's come on get up there get up there get up there no nah, he's dead even my rescue's not working right so what's happening is because i've i've gone and said that if he's if he's in the if he's in the process of falling yeah then he can't can't go left or right yeah so when he jumps right and because we took that out it was processing the right but the problem was is we're also resetting it as well and that's where all the jerkiness is Ugh. because we do this and then we go right, we're going left or going right. So let's go down there. So going right, we test to see if he's still jumping. If he's still jumping, don't set the animation because we don't want, we don't want to change the jumping animation. I've also put a test in that says if the previous direction is the same as the current direction then we don't need to set the animation because he's he's running we've already set it but I think it's to do with all this down here 
and it's just throwing a throwing a fit. So we may have to relook at the maps. Or because I had, I'm not sure whether we should have him jumping across. I don't know. But it's it'd be interesting for you guys to have a look at, yeah? Because I can see I can see the a, a reason why you'd want him to jump further because a running jump can ru jump further. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's something we can come back to because I'm sure this this would need to. Oh, hang on. Well, that don't help. I missed one. I haven't got it in here, have I? Oh, yeah, I have. All right, let's try that again. Let's take that code out and see if he glitches again. Here we go, this one. Ha! <laughs> I was jump. No wonder it was having a fit. It was jumping to the vertical process. All right, so he still jumps, still runs and jumps. Climb the ladder. Uh, rope. No, it's still glitching. As soon as it gets into the fall. And I know something's up because it's um, it's not doing the animation. Ooh. That's it, so it falls properly now. But we don't get the glitch. But he will never make that jump. Oh, that's a, that's a long jump, that is. <laughs> now, the other thing I was thinking about was the, we're using four sprites. Yeah, Five when he dies. That gives us three sprites left. We might... We may have to convert this into a multiplexer. We may have to may have to implement the multiplexer because if we want more, if we want more bad guys, because the multiplexer I think is doing twenty one sprites, but we take two for Quasi and we take two for Jill, so that's. <laughs> Brain. Brain's gone. 16 sprites left. So that's 16 sprites where we can have bad guys on a map. Yeah? Um, so I was thinking we may have to do multiplexing on it. But also, there's we, we can also do some other optimization because, as I said on the last stream, we're running short of characters. So... If we use this, we've got 225 characters. Now, some of these characters we can lose. Yeah? Because all the... All the bells are our new tile. Our new, the new tile, which is here. The torches are this here. So, we don't need to keep... The animation of the torch flying, the animation of the bell, the animation of the flames here. In this character set, we could actually move them into another character set. And 
um, be able to bring in the characters from the different position. Um, also, it, I mean, it frees up, if you think about it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It will free up 30 characters. That's an awful lot of characters. If we want to do um, more. But there's also another way of doing this. Is that we can have two charpad files. Where we have two different character sets. Yeah, We have a character set for maps 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, whatever. And we have another character set for maps 2, 4, 8, 6, Two, uh, two, four, eight, ten, twelve, and and basically we switch the character sets. So there is that way we could, you know, we could do it where the map defines the character set that we need to use. So there's a there's another another possibility there where we can switch character sets. But we need to we it needs to be we need to optimize it. I mean we need to optimize the tiles anyway. Because we got tiles on here that we don't use now. To be honest, we could do that straight away, I think. I think we could. We just have to um, refactor the the character set. Oh, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I want to, want to do it? We'll do it some other time. But it's something we need to do, because if we have more characters, because if you think about it, we have this one, which I think is that one. Yeah, this one. Where we have got more characters than we can deal with. Yeah? Because we've got 200... It uses 289 characters. And we can only have 255. There, SP. So we need to think how we're going to... If we want to incorporate more characters, we're going to have to have two sets. Two character sets that try... That drive two different maps which has different tiles now there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all it just that then we need to when we initialize the map we need to initialize um, the character set that it's using the map set it's using um, it won't affect it won't affect the sprites it shouldn't affect the sprites um, but it allows us to have the flexibility that we can ha then have 512 characters to play with instead of 256. So it's something for something for us to discuss. So, like I say, we've only got three sprites available to our at our disposal, especially when you've got Quasi, one, two, Jill, three, four. Leaves us four leaves us four sprites left. Now one of them we use for the days, but that's fine. We can you know because when he dies we turn all the sprites off, leave the dazed one. But it only leaves us four four bad guys on the screen, and we need more four, more than four bad guys. So what I thought was we could convert this into the multiplexer version, sort of. Now, the multiplexer version, so if I do this, so we got lib sprites, so this is the, I'm still in source control, so we've got lib sprites, and then we've got, let's do that, lib sprites multiplexer. Now, 
the problem is, <laughs> that some of the some of the routines are not in the multiplexer. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to make sure they are synced up because I haven't been keeping keeping the. Um, I haven't been keeping them synced, <laughs> even in Doxter. So <laughs> we need to um, we need to sync them up. So I'm going to run through. Let's see what we're missing. So we got active set. Enable sprite, disable sprite, set enable, apply enable, yeah, set frame, set frame, apply frame, set Y, get Y, set Y, oh there they are the wrong way around, it doesn't matter, right, get screen Y, now the, these are not on, so we need to put these in. Now that's going to moan about that, but that's okay. Add Y, yeah. Sub from Y, yeah. Copy Y, yeah. Apply Y, yeah. Right, set X, get X, get X, set X. Two different ways of doing it. Ooh, hang on. We haven't got the fractions. We haven't got the fractions. Oh, and it's not doing the linked either. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's because it's the wrong way around. Blech. Right, get screen X. So I'll put screen X in. Set, that's up here. Add, yeah, add, sub, sub, copy, copy, apply X, apply X, right, multicolor, standard, set multicolor, apply multicolor, sprite in front, sprite behind, sprite priorities, apply priority, okay, small sprite, large sprite, Large Y, large Y, large, set expand, apply expand, okay, next one, colour, black, white, red, so they're alright, yellow, keep going, set colour, yep, yeah, apply colour, yep, yeah. link sprites, yes, Update sprites, here we go. This is possibly where we have got a difference. So we're skipping sprites one and two. Because they're logical. Is this the same? It looks it. Scroll sprites. Yep, animation. So this should be the same. Multiplexer in it. Enable multiplexer, disable multiplexer. <laughs> then it's the IRQ, of course. Got the sort routine. Set animation. Now that should be the same. Right. <clears throat> so we should be able to, we should be able to slot in 
instead of doing lib sprites, we should be able to do lib sprite multiplex. Demotivated. Yeah, we all go through them, mate. Right, sprites multiplex. Right, so we need to initialize the multiplexer. So if I let me load back the demo. Oh, I can't. Can I not open a new one? New window. There we go. Right, if we go back to the original um, source code, so that would have been in Twitch, wouldn't it? Did I make it patron only? I can't remember. Nope. Here we go. I wonder if it was that one. Is this the multiplexer? Yeah. So we've got the multiplexer in. So when we initialize, right, so if I run that, we should end up with loads of gills. There we go. And that's what the multiplex is doing. So we should need to yeah okay so we initialize the multiplexer and then enable it so we'll copy that we'll put that in our logic so once everything's set up initialize vic chip here initialize map Let's get the multiplexer going. Now that's not lib sprites. I think we changed it, didn't we? Oh yeah, it's lib sprites. So that should fire up. Let's just make sure there's nothing else. Where are we doing? Where are we doing the sort? Right, okay. Right, let's see if we've broken it. We broke it. What's already defined? Import once. Really? But we're not including lib sprites. It's oh. Yeah, we are.
Right. Oh, that's <laughs> that's that's thrown a spanner. Whoa, that is wiping out lots of stuff. Right, storage. All right. So I'm actually specifying where it's going. So what I need to do is not do that. Um, where's game storage? Game storage. Here. So it's the first thing that's been loaded up. We don't need that. But that, oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, need to change the order. not going to do it because that is set um, okay game storage how much is in game storage how much space game storage taking here we go 08 fe to 009 fe okay So it's 200, 200 and odd bytes. So, okay. So we can say game storage starts there, which is 0810, 0910. Let's make the multiplexer start at 09. Give us some room for space there. Game storage, so we want the multiplexer not to be there, but to be there. Right. Do we overrun now? No! Hey! <laughs> right, so we've obviously got a problem here. Because Jill's on the screen and she shouldn't be. But it's quasi moving. No. Quasi's not moving. Now, why is he not moving? That is because. Um, That's because we've turned off the interrupts. Let's turn them back on. Oh, this is going to be causing problems. Oh dear. Right. Does Quasi move now? No, he doesn't. It's 
just put it back to how it was. Game logic, we need to um, ram that out and ram that out. Right, let's just see if we, we're we still working. Oh, that's definitely thrown a spanner, hasn't it? Oh, that's because we've, set, we've still got the interrupt set. It's better. Back to how we were. Come on. Jump onto the rope, mate. There we go. Right, so clearly the multiplexer is causing an issue. Now, it's got to be the IRQ. So let me see what it's doing. Hmm, okay. Here we go, IRQ. So when we initialize the multiplexer, what am I doing? Oh, so we turn off everything, okay. Right, okay. We are going to need to uh, look at this because it looks like the IRQ is interfering. So we need to we need to look at how we're going to do this. Because we definitely need the multiplexer. Now, um, Jill was on the screen, which she shouldn't have been. So we need to... Um, Lib sprites, let's get rid of that. Let's put that over there, get rid of that. Multiplexer, so this is the multiplexer. Now the animation we had that if it was off the screen, it wouldn't do anything. So, where's, where's that? Here you go, apply X. Apply X. So that is shouldn't we shouldn't have seen Jill on the screen. 
shouldn't have seen Jill on the screen. So why was we seeing Jill? Where's apply animation? Update sprite. Ah, scroll sprites. Here we go. So that should have been... So it must be in the IRQ where it's not working. Just have a look. Um, here we go. XI. Oh, we're loading directly. <laughs> we're loading directly. Oh. Oh, that's got to be changed. We're loading directly from X and we shouldn't be. We should be getting Ply X. Where's Ply X? There we go. So this is X high, which is here. But the problem is we're loading it directly. We're not actually doing this on it. Ooh, this multiplexing needs looking at. It definitely needs looking at. Right. So let's put it back in. Pick up the logic. So initialize the multiplexer. We need to enable, we'll leave that in. We'll take this one out. Where is it? There it is. So Jill's still there, but we we know that because um, the multiplex is ignoring is hasn't got the logic to say it's off the screen. But why are we not moving? I mean, this brown section's massive. Oh, this orange section here. That's update sprites. That's the multiplex that's happening there. But why are we not? Well, let's try the keyboard. Ah, okay. It's no joystick. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> we've, we've, we've nicked. We've nicked um, Jill's outline. Oh, come on, jump. Oh, it won't jump and run. That's something we need to sort out. On the joystick, it's not doing jump and run. There we go. Hey, Stacey. 
Yeah, it's not doing jump and run. Let's solve that, sort that out first. Controls, controls, controls. Let's get it so we can move. Right. Joystick. So we're checking left. Instead of returning out, we should check the fire. Yeah, so we'll jump there. Because if we're going left, we don't need to check right. So jump to test fire. Checking right. If it is right, do the same thing, but it's the next item, so we don't need to. Let's get rid of that. If it's fire, that means we want to jump. We don't need to chest, test up or down. Right, let's try this again. Right. <laughs> it's not doing it now. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? Does it get there? Yes, but it's not doing running. Oh, right, jump, right, okay, go. Um, God, oh, this has been harder than I thought. Jump to test fire, so... Where's the joystick? Yeah, I, th I think that was sausage toes, mate. Check up, and... Hand it with that, compare with that. Yeah, that's okay. That should be alright. That should be doing it. Just put a break point there and there. Right, left. Okay. Ooh, this is annoying. So he's doing it, but it's not doing it. Now, let me see. Test fire. Oh, it's this. Right, okay. So I've got to, got to work this differently. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. 
Let's do this differently. Okay, um, <laughs> did you <laughs> did you hear Aston then? <laughs> what a noise. Hang on. Oh, Aston. Noise. Ugh. So I've got to do an... Oh, it's got an oar, isn't it? It's an oar. We can't jump out because we need to test for going left. The keyboard's all right. Well, it, is, it isn't now because we've turned the IRQ off. So we need to do a keyboard library. Um, the problem is we're we're wiping it out here, and it's it's going on to that. I'll show you. See, works now. But when I take my thing, when I turn, take my finger off the. Um, yeah, it just carries on going, look. That's the whole point of that being in. But the problem is, because we want to test for the um, the fire button. It's, run, it's running to the end, because it's going, we're allowing it to go further on. And then it's going, is it up? No. Is it down? No. Right, we are not doing anything. When in fact, we are... May have to check. May have to check the fire in each of the routines. Oh, that is going to be messy. That is going to be messy. But we'll try it. We'll check it. So we need to test that in there and in there. So we'll do that. Right, so we check for left, we set it up, and then we check to see if it's firing. Right, that should mean we should be able to run and jump now. Uh, run, jump. Ah, that's better. But it's a bit messy. Hehehe. <laughs> Go on, Quasi. Oh! <laughs> the multiplex serve is real screwing it up. Oh, the multiplex is really screwing it up. Alright, let's put it back. Hey Warlock. Oh, multi 
multiplex is really screwing it up. In fact, um, I should be able to go hash define multiplex on. That should do it. Right. If that import I should do it. Right, so if we've got the multiplexer on, we're going to do this. So we need to find every place where that is. So quasi, do that. Uh, collision. Do that. Quasi, we're already doing that. So that should be it. And then it's game logic. So we need to grab that. Put that in there. Get rid of that. Right. So that should be the multiplexer because we've got multiplex switched on, which it is because we've got Jill up here. And then we should be able to just turn it off by doing that. There we go, right. Let's test the keyboard. Oh, so this is the joystick, right. So the joystick is working. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Ah, he's off the screen. Jump. We've got a... Hmm. Right, so... So the, so the, the, the moral of the story is the multiplex is causing us issues. Cheers, mate. I mean, this is map two. Um, Stacy's done. It. So that's Mike. That's Microman's map, and Stacy's done a map. Hang on, let me uh, let me fire that up. So this is Stacy's map. There we go. That's Stacy's map. Oh, I think I know what the problem is with that. I think I know. Oh, the bell stopped animating. We'll have a look in a minute. Right, so that's not the one. Where's the one? That one. Right, so this is the new one. Now, I think... I think we changed the materials, didn't we? Yes, we did. Right, so that's the character editor. Spike top. Yeah, we changed the materials. Right, let's put that back to zero. And that should be the top right. Zero. But then again, hang on. Let's 
That is that one. No, no, no. I don't want to save it. That one. That's the original. Did we... No, we had them all on. Okay. We had them all on. It's just me and my mad, bad reflexes. Right, let's try that again. I... Oh, died straight away. Forgot, forgot you get done in the water, in the fires. Right, here we go. So which bell wasn't animating? Was it any? Right, we have got to jump over this. Ah, oh, too early. Oh, <laughs> did, how did I do that? <laughs> how did I manage that? Jump. No. Right, so those bells are working. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there. No. Right, so you say map two. Okay. Right, so map two is this one down here. So this is the... So the, that's a bell, that's a bell. That's a bell, bell, bell. So he's saying one of those bells stopped. Stop working, okay. Oh yeah. This fella here. That's that one. Hang on, let me just re-export them. There you go, mate, because you spotted it. Right, I've just re-exported it. Let's... Uh... Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's working now. It's working now. Right. So, reflex this time. Go! Jump. He's still... That's the only thing. It's, it, it, when he lands on top of it... When he lands and he finds... A, he sees a rope... He can stand on top of the rope. Let's see if we can do that again. Yeah. He's on top of the rope. Oh... Something for us to look at. Another bug for you, for you to try and figure out. <laughs> he fell through the gap. <laughs> and the impossible, the impossible jump. Here we go. Here we go. No. And now we've fallen through the floor because there's no block. We need to. It's a great idea, this, but I think we're going to need to put a block. We're going to have to put a block down there. I think. Yeah, these aren't the these these spikes aren't animating. Because if you look at the map, they're there. These these are the these are the the tiles that are being animated. Yeah, but these are not. These are fixed. So they're, they're not... Um, I mean, I think it's just I think it's just there for intimidation. Microman put them in there, I think, for intimidation for the player. Because really, he would never... <laughs> he would never get... Never get there. He wouldn't... Because he's safe. If he's safe on here, right? So... But this lot... Yeah. I mean, we seem to have... Uh, 
We seem to have a safety zone here as well. But yeah, so we've got two maps. Yeah, we've got two maps. And like I said earlier, um, because we're using 225 characters, we need, we need to optimise that. So we've already counted that 30 characters we can claim back because of the animation, yeah? See these these two flames here are not being animated. So we so for example those need to be changed. So if we grab that, grab that, boink boink, that should make them animated. I think that's them all. Yeah. So save. We'll export that again. So. We can claim 30 characters back, but like I said earlier, if we need more than the 255 characters for the maps, then we have two map files. One to do, like I say, to do maps 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and another one to do maps 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then we've got two, got 512 characters to play with then. Because I don't, I don't think it'd be a prob I don't think it'd be too much of a problem to put in the map configuration which character set to use. Um, because we'll be telling it which map set to use anyway. So I think we should be okay. But we've got two maps to start with. This one needs a little, little, tweak, little tweaking because we do struggle to get across. Well, I struggle to get across. <laughs> and I'm not the best game player. Right, so everything's working. Jump on there. Up. Still landing on the rope. May have to change the rope test, I think. May have to change the rope test. That's, that's a point. Uh, update quasi. Jump in. Where, which, when we are... Here we go. It's a ladder, isn't it? Oh, we're testing the bottom for the ladder. Test in the bottom. I, uh, for the rope collision, would it be better to test if the player is pressing up when colliding, otherwise keep moving through it? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. But you've got to remember, right? It, it could be going down as well. Because you can go down a rope. Yeah? So, if I go back to this one, you can go... Well. <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Get over there! Get over there! Oh, we're jumping in mid-air again. Right. So we can go up and down the rope. So it, if going up would stop the ability to go down, yeah? I mean... We need a... Yeah, we need, we need to... We, the, the rope test needs to be better, I think. It's been treated. It once you are on, once you are in it, do you have a flag saying you're on the rope? Has it been treated as a ladder? It's been treated as a ladder. The one because we're using the same, the same material. We're treating it as a ladder. So um, yeah, we may have to. 
because we, we did have a separate material type for ladders, didn't we? Uh, for ropes. We may have to go back to that. We may have to go back to that. But these are quirks for you guys to uh, figure out. Me, I'm only doing this, and then you guys can take over. So, so there's a problem with the multiplexer, so I'm going to have to look at that. I'm going to have to look at that. I'm going to have to get the multiplexer to use the library to make sure it's getting the right thing. Because what's happening is Jill is coming on the screen too early. So if I, if I turn the multiplexer on again. So Jill's here and she's... And she's not meant to be there. She's meant to be over off the screen somewhere, way over there. But because the multiplexer is looking at the data directly, um, instead of using the library, which which determines whether the the sprite's on the screen or not. So there's got to be some work done on the multiplexer. So I'm going to have to do some work on the multiplexer. So. I was hoping it would work straight away, but these things are set to set to testers. So it's here, it's here where I need to um, where we need to test and do what we do in the sprite logic, which is here. Get x, get x, get x. Uh, that's why. Here. So where we get to apply apply the X, which is here. This is it. So applying the X, because we so we we take off the deltas, yeah. And then if it's if it's greater than, then it doesn't do it. It just says the sprites the sprites off the screen, and we just off off we go. So we need to put we need to put that sort of logic into the multiplexer here. So what we need to do Yeah, I'm just wondering if we could get away with it here. So if it's not, then it does that. Where's, 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 where's game update quasi? Where's our library? Right, let's get that and put that there get rid of that apply x i wonder if we can do that in here because we are what we're doing what we're doing I suppose we could do that. So, X, where's X? That's down here. Right, okay. So, this is all to do with Y. Right. I think we need to test to see if it's off the screen. So that's that. So here would be the... Oh, 
undo. So that would be, oh, he's doing, doing, we're doing uh, less first. Can I help you? Hey? Can I help you? Hello, buddy. You trying to video bomb me? Hey? All right. There you go. Go away. Go away. Thanks for the smell, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the smell. Go away. <laughs> Cheers. I love you too, Nico. Right. So it's the high... Uh, the thing is... Yes. Let's do... So we... S we need to do low first. We need to do the low first. And that's down here. But we could put it up there, I suppose. Could make it first. Right, so let's grab that. We'll put it up here. Right, so we can follow this. Follow that. Oops. Store it in X. Then we get what? Then we load Y. Subtract it. Subtract the delta. Branch if equal to turn off, which is the same as this here. And turn on there. But we need to do this as well. So then we test for outside of the the sprite, and then we need to turn it off. So um, We can still do that there, can't we? Just do it there. We'll grab that as well. Right, that should work. Right, fingers crossed everybody. Let's see if Jill appears. <laughs> Jill has disappeared and so has Quasi. What have I done? Um, what have I done? What have I done? Have I missed something? Uh, game logic. Have I missed something? Oh, yeah.
Right, let's try that again. So, we should see them now. We did see him for a fraction of a second. He was there and he goes. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. What have I got wrong? I bet it's something to do with that. Yeah. Cloak of Invisibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was this. I think it was this. There he is. He's back. Right, does he move? Yeah, he moves. Do we jump? Yes, we jump. Do we climb? We climb. Okay. Do we jump? Yes, we jump. And that's where we go wrong. Oh, and Jill's back. That's because the multiplexer is interfering with our code. Okay. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. Right, where's the de this is the decrease here. Okay, so load uh, pre Come on John previous color store Right, let's find out what's going on. Right, so we'll LDA, in fact, we will LDA that, store it in there, and then we'll load, what color should we use? Oh, we, got, we got light green, haven't we? Yeah. Right, let's see where the multiplex is running. So we should see light green on the screen somewhere. There we go. That's where the multiplex is running. Here. So, um, that's right smack in the middle of update quasi and all. So let's... Uh, So straight away, look, we are, we're encroaching. So that's, that's the IRQ there for whoever, must be, must be quasi. Spoon. So the colour's going. The colour is moving, but the screens uh, not yeah so oh right where's uh, the scroll yellow is the scroll oh, right okay 
Yellow is the scroll. Let's run this again. Yellow is the scroll, so let's see how the scroll is doing. In fact, we'll go back to the previous map. We'll go back to Stacy's map because we got a long run on that one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Map one. Right, here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Oh. Yeah, the multiplex is definitely having issues. So as you can see, it's com multiplex is firing here, it's firing there, and it's firing down here. Ah, um... Yeah, we do. I, I, I think the jitter is because the multiplex is getting in the way. Um, I think the multiplex. So we're, we're doing it here and then we are. I think, oh, are we waiting? Oh, hang on. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna let me turn the multiplexer off. So we don't get the glitch look because the multiplexer is not getting in the way. Oh, we had one there though. Just there. Hmm. But the multiplex is getting in the way. There's some, there's, yeah, this, this, it's all about timing now. Because, like, you know, we, we've got, we've got the spr we got the characters being animated. Um, we have the scrolling. I mean, to be honest, the scrolling, I suppose the scrolling could have been handled by an IRQ, but. I knew that potentially we'd be putting a multiplexer in it, but it's it's it is screwing it is screwing around with the um, where is the um, where's the sorter? Where is the sorter? That's an interesting question, John. Where is the sorter? I 
Ah, it's in the update sprites. Okay. So where do I update the sprites? I don't update the sprites. Oh yeah, I do. Down here. In the orange phase. And that's when the IRQ fires. Let's... Um Right, take a screenshot of that. Right, so I've just taken a screenshot and put it in here so we can see our banding, right? So white, white is where it's animating the frames. So it's currently in a, a frame with no animation on it. Red is the space between the next raster test. Cyan is the stable HUD, which is this. Purple is the routine to update quasi. Green is the controls and jump control. Blue is the space to the next raster, which is here. Then yellow, yellow, which is that bit there, is the scroll. And then orange is update sprites. Right, so let's do the same thing with the multiplexer on wow so just at rest lot this is far bigger Oh, this could be, ignore the white, ignore the white, it could be a process in a frame. So our, so the pro point where we're updating the sprites here, our IRQ fires. So that's how much time it's taken to do the IRQ. On, so it doesn't take long, but it pushes it pushes the update right off and I think that's why it glitches so when it comes to right let's so yeah that and it's there it's not wanting to scroll is it What is going on there? So that's that has got to be where it's the most significant bite is being set. It's got to be here. That's got to be here. Then it do jumps to MS done, which is MSB done, which is here. Sets the color. Sets the multicolor of the sprite and turns the multicolor off. Okay. Oh, hang on. Am I jumping to the wrong place?
No, I'm jumping to the... So that goes there. And that goes here. This is in the wrong place. So we don't need that, but we do need that there. So it jumps out of the way, but we're setting it. Yeah, because we're moving the sprite out of the way. We, because we're moving the sprite out of the way, we don't need to do that. So we can do jump to Do we need to use, I suppose we do need to use the, do we need to use the next physical sprite? Hmm. See if we get anything better, right. There's definitely, oh. Yeah, the multiplex is not liking this. We're gonna to have to re gonna to have to look at the multiplexer. I'm gonna to have to spend some time on it. Let's just make sure it's working now. Yeah, the multiplex is definitely affecting. Right. So the next thing I was thinking was down here on the hood. We need to start thinking about what we're going to put down here. Because at the moment we're just copying this and putting it down here. So we need to start, we need to, we need to start thinking about what's, what's, what's going to contain in the hood and what sort of bad guys we're going to have yeah because do these question is do these guard these fellas do anything or they're just decoration do they attack you in any way shape or form or so these things we need to um and that's why i need to get the multiplexer yeah i think the i think the hood's going to have to have its own character set so as part of, as part of the, uh, so this band here, this here, this, so that's doing the stable X, yeah? So when we're scrolling off the screen, <laughs> gonna try and jump, right, go, down, one more, go, there we go. That stabilizes, that stabilizes this bottom area, yeah? Let's do this way. That's it. So the hood is stable, yeah? So we could then here um, just flip the character set memory map to go to the new character set so we could have a hood with its own character set. And then here, when we finished at this blue area, that's when we switch back to the character set that we, we use it, yeah? So, oh, I'm disappointed that the multiplexer didn't work. Really disappointed. Because I thought that would have worked. I think the reason why the multi I think the reason why the multiplexer's not worked is before when we wrote the multiplexer, we didn't have a wide screen. 
we was just talking about the screen that we're looking at. We're not talking about the fact where the screen is a viewport to the stage. And I think that screwed it all up. So, yeah, because it's strange. It's strange how the sprite loses its... Um, that it loses its uh, pointer, in effect. Right, so it's the next one, isn't it? Here we go. Ooh, and we died. Get back out, can't get out, can't get out. Can't get out. <laughs> oh, I need, a re I need a reset. I need a reset. <sighs> but it's it's definitely extended that it's definitely extended the update sprite routine by a massive margin that has by a big margin okay Just make sure we do the ups update sprites there, yeah. What? What? I know. You dare drop one again, mate. Out. Go on. Out you go. Hmm. I wonder. Are we waiting? Are we testing the raster? Yes, here. Oh, and then it jumps out. Okay. Um. So we're testing for the next raster. Right, I'm gonna. Have to, I'm definitely gonna have to look at this. I don't know why it screws up. I'd like. I'd like this to fire at a different point. To be honest. Um. How can I, can we define when this raster fires? Or is it just fires whenever it wants? Anybody know? Yeah. It only gets it like I say Tony it it does go big look but that's only because the animation yeah because we we changed the animation and so it's running through all but as soon as the scroller kicks in you know we get that flash of the scroller and that's why it pushes the orange down to here because the scroller takes that much CPU time up. 
that's why I was trying to make the scroller be as much off screen as possible yeah and I can't jump over these spikes terrible so oh, the multiplexer what we're gonna do and you gotta remember the orange is doing the sorting as well of the sprites so it does the sort of the sprites or the multiplex but the problem is the multiplex is probably firing halfway through the sort routine uh, I mean this is this is where the multiplex has been used But like I say, the, uh, ooh. oh, here we go. The sort, but well, the sort routine on this is just still doing in the update. Hang on. Err, uh, da, 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 Sprite multiplexer. Da, Sort. Here we go. So the sort is doing is is being performed down here. So that's where the sort is, and then. The raster's just taking out the the IRQ's taking over to do the multiplexing. So uh, maybe where's this? Let me let me um, let's. Get the sort. Let's identify when the sort is running. So we'll we'll do ink do two o, and then we'll decrement do two o. Evening. Oh, <laughs> we're tr we're trying. We're trying. It's oh, I've got the multiplexer off. Hang on. We're trying, we're trying, but the multiplex is causing issues with our timing. Right, so this is brown, and I haven't got a brown, so this it, this must be where the sort is. So it sorts it, and then, right, so the sort has not been, in, okay, the sort has not been interfered. But the update sprites is big. I mean, it still is glitching, isn't it, when we do the jump? But then it just loses the plot there. being raided hello raiders <laughs> welcome to a very confused stream Ugh. Uh. DMX welcome I don't have many raiders <laughs> happy in yeah let me just let's fire that again let's there is a we we have a number of we have a number of health issues so right okay jumping on the spot yeah we're fine there but if you look at the green right so the green is the where the green is the area where we we're testing the controls if you look at the green 
it does go all the way down here. And I'm just wondering, as soon as we do the move, right, because the purple is moving down as well. So I think, as, let's see if we can get it glitching. Yeah, it's the blue, isn't it? So the green is is going is going way further than we need. So oh, I don't really want to do this. Um, let's just boost that by two or three pixels. Right, let's see if that. Right, that's a bit further down now. So we let's see if see if it stops. Whoa, look, we stopped it. It stopped glitching, and we've blown up fuse. <clears throat> just as the just as the scroll kicked in. Oh, right, okay. Just as the scroll kicked in. Right, I wonder. Uh, da, 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 da. So the scroll is happening here. So that's the yellow region. Oh. Oh right, okay. That would have pushed that down that the Oh, that the sorter would have been out of out to sync. Um Have we got any space anywhere for the sorter to work? Right, what's purple? That's update quasi. Green is controls. Blue is space, but we we can't do anything in there because we know the green and purple fill out. It's that yellow there. As soon as it scrolls, it falls flat. Right, so Right, so this is where it's going to fall flat, yeah? As soon as it scrolls. Right, let's turn off the death test. Um, let's turn off the death test. No, it's um, it's just it's two pixels shy, mate. It's, it's the timing, it's the raster. Um, I think the sort routine for the... Um, Multiplexer is interfering with with it. Right, let's let's just stop him being dead. Right. So we can walk on fire. Yeah. Right, so we just turn off the death, so we should be able to walk on fire. Right, so we should. There we go. So as soon as soon <coughs> as soon as the multiplexer kicks in, this yellow band. So this is the sorter that's sorting the sprites into the Y area, but the yellow band is the the scroller. And and what happens? The yellow band comes down here. Here we go. Bang. And it's and it's it's interfering with the it's interfering with the scroller. Look, because the green band here is right smack in the middle of the scrolling. Right. Oh, 
because the colour's scrolling, but the screen is, it's it's like it's not, it's like it's not flicking screens. Is it swapping the screen? I mean, we've got, we've got Jill up here. We don't know what, what she's doing. Ooh. <coughs> See, if I turn the multiplexer off, We don't have that problem. Yeah. So Jill's going across the screen, okay. So, so I'm just wondering if the multiplexer is interfering with the scroll. Oh, so annoying. The animation stops, doesn't it? It's destroying the animation. And Jill's staying where she is and she shouldn't be. She should be over here somewhere. There she is. But it's also destroying the animation for Jill as well. Okay, right. Right, so that's where, that's where Jill is. Because we're resetting her, so. But where's the other, where's the Jill here? Hang on, they've put Jill, right, Jill's there. But this is supposed to be Jill's character here. Okay. Okay, let's see where we're going. Oh, hang on. There we go, that's the one I wanted. So let's see what happens when the scroll kicks in. So the pointer goes to zero. Then it re-establishes itself. Then it goes to zero again. Oh. I don't think it's swapping screens. Oh, it is. It's swapping screens. So it must be the X scroller. Oh, what's jump? 
Well, it's not that. Oh, what's jump? Yeah, yeah, it's looking like it, isn't it? What's jump? Hello, what's what's fire in C sixty four debugger? Is it enter? It's not enter, is it? Oh, what's for? Alt. Aha! There we go. So we're trashing pointers. The screen is definitely swapping. We are definitely sc scrolling. But the screen pointer's getting dead. I th ah, must it must be to do with the animation because I mean where's where's Jill? It's still doing these two, but these two are not switched on. It says that well, it says they are, but. Thank you. Um, I mean, Jill's. Oh, right. I think. Right. So the multiplex is not quite working. That is interesting. Yeah, the point is going back to zero. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> right. The data point is starting at 4,000, but we're on 440. So even the sprite... Oh... Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I think I know why that is cause... I think I know why that's doing it. Because we're swapping... We're swapping screen locations and the multiplexer doesn't know about that. Um, 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 and I'm talking about this here. Because Sprite Zero is 43F8, but we we changed to four thousand and oh hang on <clears throat> where's the animation system here No, it's not easy. It's not easy. <sighs> Where's the... This one. Right, let's have a look at the animation routine on this one. So this, this side is the non-multiplexing sprite routine. And this side is the multiplexing one. So 
we are looking in where in the animation apply animation so we're storing it in frame so frame frame let me find frame I use frame a lot. <laughs> Must be in the multiplexer. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to find the. Uh, I wonder if it's there. Oh, here we go. It's in sprites. Right, so it's in frame. So the multiplexer needs to take in consideration that. Let's have a look. Does it take consideration of that? Yes, it's loading frame. So my animations got my animations should be the same. So it's t right. So it's taking the frame out the sprite array, yeah, and then setting. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Well, my my thingy works. Look, your name automatically did it, mate. My my bot is behaving itself today. <laughs> yeah, it does it automatically now. I've got it all working. Web sockets are wonderful little things. Um, oh, so how are we going to do this? Because it's got to take in consideration the screen the screen frame but that's putting it there um where's my update update frame update 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 sprites apply frame that's what i want to look for apply frame go to definition right ah so it's putting in two places ah this is probably where i want to go um, so I'm looking for apply frame here. Yeah, I'm only putting it in one place. Silly me. Right, let's see if that work. Let's see if that fixes the glitch. Right, is it multiplexes on here? Yeah? Right, let's see if that sorts our glitch out. Yay! Right, Quasi is now okay. So we've got to figure out why our scroller is screwed up when we use the multiplexer. Ugh. No, Jill's. It's strange because she's set up. Logic, game logic because we set her up here so that's that's the Jill that's Jill so we set her up on sprites three and four So we set her up on three and four, but for some reason the multiplex is not doing that.
it's using well, okay, it's using three and four. Yeah, it's, yeah, she's off the screen. She's way over here. Let's get quasi walking. So hopefully this is, see, she's gone. She's what? This is. Yeah. That is. Which one is it? It's got to be these two. Yeah. So we're at we're, we're out of sync somewhere. We're out of sync because that's on four four. These two are still on four thousand. I mean, it's it's. It's moved over to the right. It's looking in the right places. Yeah, but that... That's not being used. These two are the bit ones being used. I'm, I'm surprised that that sprite's not being used. Hang on, maybe there's a problem with the multiplexer. Hang on. And I didn't spot it. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the IR cube? Right, it's where var equals two to eight. Zero, one. So zero, one is um, quasi. Two, three. It should be using them all. It should be using them all. I don't know why it's not using. Um, Zero, one, two. Yeah, it's, it's that is strange. I mean, we've got to put that in as well. There, that doesn't help when we're swapping screens. one was it that one see that one is still at 4,000 hmm zero one starts at two it should be doing two but it's not I mean, she's coming into view now. Uh, why is, I mean, it's looking here, isn't it? What sprite, can I tell what sprite that is? No. Hmm. Okay, let's do one. Let's see what damage that does. Does Quasi, yeah, Quasi's turned off, look. He's lost his, uh, he's a ghost.
Yeah, quasis. Yeah, the Y position set to zero. Why is quasi up there? I have no idea. So quasi is at Y zero. Maybe there's a problem with my multiplexer. Um, Cause there she is down here. So where's, oh. Um. That's fine, I don't mind that being happening. There is Jill. At least she's at least that that part of it, but we should be seeing this part. Let me make Jill white so we can see where she is. Uh, da, 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 da. Because at the moment she's set the black, so we'll set Jill to be white. So we can see where she is. Right, let's go fight. Right, so there's Jill and both of them together. But as soon as she does that, she becomes this. I think the multiplexer and the actual sprites are out of sync. Because these two, let's have a look, Y position for, yeah, so this is at zero. Yeah. I mean, she's flashing, isn't it? She... This, this is what I'm, I think the multiplex is not quite working. It's missing this sprite. It should be utilizing this sprite, but it seems to be missing it. So I'm gonna to have to look at the multiplex to find out why. LDX sprite index, sprite order. Where's sprite order? Let's have a look. Okay, sprite order is 10. Oh, it's at 10, okay. Let's see what's happening in the array. So we're looking at 10. So this is the sprite order here. So it's saying three, 
four, zero, one, two, five. So that's what it's doing. So it's starting at three. It is starting at three. Really? Um. Okay. Uh, where's, let's default. Let's default the Y's. So, oh, it's defaulted at FF. All right, okay. Yeah, we do, because we're swapping screens between 4,000 and 4,400. But we are defaulting the Y to be at FF. So the array, the array is, should be at FF. Uh, let's find out where that is. So that's got to be somewhere up the top. 9600. Yeah, it's here. So Y is FFF. So 9, 9 C A. Let's have a look. Let's just make sure that it is defaulting to FF. Which it is. So that's quasi. Missing one, Jill. So why is it setting these to be zero? Oh God. I would have thought it would have put Jill in that one and that one. Because they're in the next two available sprites, not these two here. I mean, it's not even set in the multicolour on this one. So here we go, so we've seen this here, but we're not seeing that one, because that is at Y0, as that one is at 4B. It's getting itself tied in knots. It's getting itself tied in knots. Yeah, I mean, still. So that's the animation. Ugh. So the multiplex is out of sync with the array. What happens on the other one? So this is our demo, yeah? So this is where I'm setting up Jill. Okay. Aha, here we go. So linking all the sprites together. So, okay. 
Let's knock a Jill off. See what happens. So we should end up with one less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've well, still got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's okay. Right, so it's working there. Right, I'm going to have to look at this multiplexer. I'm going to have to spend time I'm looking at the multiplexer. Because clearly something's going awry. Because, I mean, Quasi's now no longer with his partner. Because it's at zero, look. It's gone to zero. He's sort of with him, and then he disappears. Yeah. Oh, so the multiplex is not quite working. Ah. Oh, I thought thought that was working. Right. Let's put that back tight. Was so quasi should be okay now. Because we're protecting him. There we go. Quasi's now back to how he was. Yeah, I mean... I think we've got more than one problem. I think we've got many problems here. We've got the multiplexer that's screwing up the scroller. I mean, the screen's... <coughs> the screen is swapping, look. Because we're here, down here. So we're at 4,000. So if we move... There we are. It's moving between 4,000 and 4,400. So it's definitely swapping the screens. But for some reason, it's... Effect, I think it's affecting the... I think it's affecting the X... The scroll X value. It's got to be. It's got to be affecting the scroll X. Let's do a quick search. Is it scroll or is it? No, it's not. Where's the multiplexer? Right, that's the sort. Here we go. So that's scroll Y. So it's not, okay, so it's not messing with scroll X. Okay, so it can't be that. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look at this. It's, but the system, it still runs when you don't have the multiplexer on. There we go. So it's, def it's definitely the multiplexer that's causing the issue. So, so I think we've got many different issues here. We've got, <clears throat> we've got an issue that the multiplexer is not matching up the sprite to the frame. Um, we seem to be having the sprite with the frame at Y0. Don't know why. Um, that it's interfering with the scroll because it's not shifting the characters. <laughs> hey, Aquafim. 
I, I think what's happening is the frame that does the character copy, the, sh the, the swap, is not happening. I think what's happening, that I don't think the character copying is happening. It's swapping the screen, but I don't think it's... it's and um, and I think the I think the multiplexer is affecting um, that sh that frame interaction because the, the the screen stays still, but the colours are scrolling. If you notice, the colours were scrolling, but the screen is staying still. So um, so it's on the copy. Let's go into the scroller, four-way scroller. So when, what frame does the copy happen? Uh, da, 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 da. So scrolling left, right, frame two is where it does the, literally the copy, the frame copy. Then we evaluate the buffer, which is not happening. Then we do, so frame seven's happening on left and then right, it's frame five. <sighs> so we've got some if it's something to do with that where's the scroll sprites let's see what the um, the original one does Scroll sprites, come on, where are you? Here we go. Is it doing the same thing? The only difference is, is this is rend out. Let's try it. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. We don't die at the moment, do we? Nope. Well, we're getting partly there with the uh, Good old Azzy. Ugh. And it's doing the evaluation because you can see it here. Oh, that's interesting. The scroll X is... The scroll X is nice because we've got the multiplexer switched on. Also, Jill is stayed with uh, Quasi. She should be off the screen. Ah, she's off the screen now. Look. And then she's back. So there is 
<laughs> she's there's definitely something going on something wrong with the multiplexer so we'll turn it off we'll go back to the the original way which is this So all we've done is we've just swapped the sprite library from being a multiplexer to being physical. So the multiplexer is causing issues. Um, gonna have to um, gonna have to look at it. We may have to take the sort routine. We may have to take the sort routine out. Let's see if that's an option. Uh, multiplexer. So there's the sort. So if we remove it from there. I know, I know. I'm just thinking about where in our raster timing where the sort routine should go see the sort routines happening here maybe we need to put it in front of the scroll um Let's put it in front of the scroll. See what damage that does. Oh, we need to put something wrapped around it, don't we? We need this. Where are you? This. And if it's on, we want it to happen. Right, let's see. Whoa. Okay. Two inks where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right, so our sorter should be happening round right about here. Right, that's our sort of there look. In front of, so our sorting's happening in front of the scroll. But our, our multiplexer, which is here, is still happening in between the update. Our multiplexer's right smack be in Right smack in the middle of the scroll. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to look at this multiplexer because the multiplexer is firing right smack in the middle of the scroll. Uh, multiplexer. Where's our initialization routine? Here we go, init multiplexer.
Yeah, it's a, it, it's a plan because um, I've got an I've got an if statement. Yeah. So what happens is it turns it yellow for the um, scro scroller, but because I ink it, it turns it brown and then turns it back to yellow, so we know where the the uh, scroller's running. So this is this would go brown. And this would go back to yellow. But it only does it when the multiplex is on. Because if we turn it off, then that code would never get executed. So it'll look, the, pro, the scroller would always be yellow. So that's where the scroller code is running. Yeah. So when we cut, when we do, you'll see it go yellow. There you go. There's a the scroller kicked in. But for some reason, the multiplex is interfering with the scroller. And need to, we need to, um, need to figure it out because the multiplexer is happening in the middle of this sprite update. Right, all right, guys. I th uh, we've got a lot of. Th I'm going to put this into GitHub, so the guys that have got access to GitHub, if you want to have a look at it and see if you can find where the problems are. So we have a multicolor problem. We have a. Um, uh, we've got the problem that the scroller is being interfered by the multiplexer, and. Um, we don't seem to be using all the sprites that are given us. That's another worrying thing. Um, so if you want to have a play, by all means have a have a look at it. I'll have a look at it as well, like I did with the gravity one. And um, why is that turned off? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Okay, so it's loading it. Why is that not down here? Hmm. So, I'm going to have to have a look at this multiplex and see if we can um, see if we can fix the problems. All right then, guys. <laughs> it's not been a very productive stream. <laughs> oh. oh, I hate these ones that don't where we don't do much. <sighs> All right, I'll put this into GitHub. You guys, you guys, um, have a look. See if you can see something that I can't. I'm going to have a look at it until next week as well. And we'll talk about it on Discord, all right? Well, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you next week, yeah? Take care, bye. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.